Hey guys, it's Bart here on the convention center floor here at NAB 2015. This time I'm here at the Red Rock Micro Booth and they have something amazing this year that there have been crowds and crowds of people around this thing all week long. Uh, I'm here with Alex. Can uh, you let me know exactly what we're looking at and what can this thing do? You bet. So the first thing we're looking at here is a new interface for our micro remote system. It's a three channel system now. We have zoom, iris, and focus. And what's really cool is when you change the iris, you can see it calculating your depth of field in real time here. So it's actually showing the depth of field for this particular lens. Yes, and sir. so you have a sort of band range in there. Exactly, and when you're tracking someone manually, um, it's predictive because you can see in front of them, you can see behind them, you can see the whole band and just get them exactly where they need to be. That's very cool. What people are really talking about this year is the Halo system. Yes. And, and let me tell you about that. It starts with this, this is the Halo Explorer. It's a LiDAR system, it's a spinning laser, it's 180 degrees of distance data and it's just telling you everything that's out in front of you. And I'm going to turn it on here and we should see, we should see our friend Omar appear here. And so and he just appears as a dot. He's a dot. On That's the right. screen. And this is sort of an extension of your existing uh, micro remote system. Exactly. Uh, but the halo is specifically scene mapping and focus tra tracking. So if, halo, if, if Omar moves around, you can manually, we can manually keep, keep him, him in, in that range. Exactly. And as he's moving, it's predictive. It's really easy to keep him in, in focus. It's a, it's a really neat tool. You know tool. exactly when he's going to go out the front or the back of your range. Exactly. What's really cool is this. If we halo Omar, now we're in full autofocus. He can so move around. It'll, now it'll track him automatically. Yes, sir. And if, if Omar moves up and out of the shot, this V here is the field of view of the lens. So Omar is completely out of the shot, haloed, and when he walks in, he'll be totally in focus. Because the halo unit's 180 degrees, it can see everything outside of what your lens can so see. So your subject can, will still be tracked even when they're not visible to the lens you and bet. they'll come back into the scene you in bet. focus. And the lens that we have on here is a, a, a Canon Cine lens. It, it, it doesn't have autofocus or anything like that. It's a manual lens. Right. So it's all being driven by the Red Rock system. Right. Uh, information's being sent to our existing micro remote system. So your motors are getting the information uh, and then are, are sending it to the motors which are turning the gear which are changing the focus ring on this manual lens and all that's happening with amazing speed and accuracy. Yes, sir. And let me show you this. Normally when you're in autofocus, you're in autofocus mode and that's the end of it. But check this out. Say Omar stays right there and say we want to focus on the dartboard. We can scrub the screen with our finger on the touch screen and here you can see the dartboard's in focus. I'll let go and it snaps right back to Omar. And it goes right back like a quick rack focus. So you can rack focus with a swipe of your finger. Yes, sir. That's amazing. Yes, sir, and this will track as many people in your scene as you got, and you can select different people and direct focus just by touching them. Very, very cool. Uh, so uh, I had seen a lot about this uh, sort of as a prototype. So what, what stage is it at right now? When will it be available? And how much are you guys thinking this is going to cost? OK, so this is a preview. Uh, it's beyond prototype, but it's not ready for production yet. We're thinking later this year. Okay. And we're trying to keep it in the two to five thousand dollar range. Two to five thousand dollars. That's not bad at all yes, to sir. be able to, to pull that right there. Uh, I mean, especially if you're, you know, one man banding it, or if you have this on a uh, a, a crane or a jib or right. on a Movi or something where you're moving yes. around, um, you know, and you don't have an AC or another wireless follow focus system to do it. This is just amazing. You're going to be exactly. able to get some great shots. Well, that is some fantastic stuff. I can't wait to see this come out. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you. I appreciate it. Guys, keep an eye out for this thing coming out really soon from Red Rock. And stay tuned to the channel. I'll have more for you from the convention center floor.